-hmm. slipped this photo across the table to him. It's of him and Amber at the Christmas tree, but we had ran it through the fax machine a bunch of times, so it was really black and white, and it was, you can read it, you knew it was them, but, and we said, hey, we got a tip, Scott, you got a girlfriend. I mean, you know, we don't know if it's credible or not. So he looks at it and he goes, you don't, you don't think that's me, do you? And I go, I, I don't know, you know? But he discounts it like it ain't him. And he went on his way. It's all part of the investigation, he said, trying to sound nonchalant. They even showed me pictures they got from the Internet that are supposed to be me and some girl. All of us gave him the same questioning look. Yeah, he nodded. I have to say they did a really good job because the guy actually looked a lot like me. Of course, now we know that it was him. The picture was from a Christmas card that Amber Fry had sent out, which her mother had forwarded to the police. On December 30th, Amber herself had called the Modesto PD's tip line and said she had been seeing Scott Peterson. Questioned by Detective Brocchini, the Fresno massage therapist revealed that she'd been involved with Scott since November 2002. She gave them documentation, photos, gifts, dates, and an entirely different perspective of Scott. It had been Craig Grogan and Al Brocchini's hunch from the beginning that Scott was lying, but it was confirmed when they showed Scott the photo and he denied being the guy with Amber. Since the detectives knew better, they urged him to admit any extramarital affairs, but Scott swore that he hadn't been with another woman since marrying Lacey. From then on, I think the detectives knew their job was to uncover the extent of his lies. To everyone. Had you told anyone? Did you tell police? Told the police immediately. When? That was uh, the first night we were together. The, the police I spent um, with the police. You told them from, about her? Yeah, from December 24th on. You guys, you guys have had any problems? Uh, marriage problems? Everything's good. He has told no lies about a murder. You have a guy who is committing adultery for 16 days and told so many lies he got caught in that adultery mm. within 16 days. And he, there are no lies about murder. I thought Scott was probably guilty, but when I saw Amber Fry, I thought, oh my gosh, this guy wasn't hiding a dead wife, he was hiding a girlfriend the whole time. Have you been fully Scott, what about a girlfriend? He's innocent, he's just a schmuck who had a girlfriend. painted as a liar and he lied a lot about adultery. He told a lot of lies to Amber Fry, but yet there's not one lie that has anything to do with murder.